Hello everybody, it's Cindy here with Stamping Chick Creations. Thanks for joining me. I hope everybody had a fantastic Easter. I know here um, I actually had my family here and it was my sister's first time coming home um, since my brother-in-law passed away so it was really nice to see her and her kids and we had just a very low-key type um, uh, Easter which was kind of nice. Uh, it was quick and um, but it was nice. So let's get started on the cards. Um, just a reminder, if you have not signed up for any of the classes for April, please do so as soon as possible. There is a form that needs to be completed if you're wanting to join any of those classes so that I make sure that um, I have enough cardstock cut. And there's also a form as well if you are interested in receiving a catalog. My catalogs will arrive on Thursday. Um, I can't hand them out just quite yet but I'm going to get them all ready so once I am able to I will be able to get those uh, out to you as soon as possible. All right so let's get started. Sorry my um, FaceTime keeps dinging here so hang on one second. All right let's get started. Um, I'm going to just move my computer here so you can see me a little bit better. My cover behind me is open so let me close that up. All right, so here is our first card. I do have to do some cutting down apparently because I did not do that. So you have your card stock, your card base. You have your white piece that is four by five and a quarter. Now I have gone ahead and just um, embossed mine just to make things a little bit simpler for uh, videoing this, uh, this um, video basically. Um, and then I have my piece here. This is my little strip and I'm going to actually just cut this down. Um, I'm not going to use my paper trimmer. I'm going to just come do that. Okay. And I am going to use my three circles and these are about two inch circles is what I'm doing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take my circles I'm going to have to decide with these ones uh, which one I want to be my main focal point. So I think I'm going to pick this one here as my main focal point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my first circle here. My Oh, actually, no. Let me do this. I'm going to place my paper here, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that down first. Let me do that. That could be step one. So I am using paper from a different paper pack for this strip, which doesn't matter. Nobody knows the difference. Just me. And now you. Okay, so here's this one. So now I'm going to use this piece of paper, this piece of paper, and then I'm going to put this here as such. Now, am I popping these up? I am not going to pop mine up. However, if you would like to pop yours up, you are more than welcome to. <clears throat> Excuse me. The wonderful thing about this layout is that it is really a great way to use up scraps. So just because you have them in squares, you can always use your punches to cut those out with shapes and then make some very super simple cards um, with them. If you want to actually pop yours up, um, your circles up, you 110% can do that. Um, I didn't on this one, but you are absolutely can. So I'm going to actually use... Um, this stamp set here, um, I have not used very much. And I see it is carrying over in the book. It's called Charming Sentiments. Um, and it's a really cool stamp set. It's got a lot of really great um, sentiments in it. Um, my hands itchy. I like this wishing you everything wonderful. Um, but I also like this one here. It's called Happy and Heartfelt. Maybe I'll use this one. Let's just see. Wishing you everything wonderful. I wonder if this is a photopolymer, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to actually make this into birthday cards. Wishing you the happiness of birthdays. Where is this one up here? I love photopolymer stamps. Love, love, love them. Because I can see what I'm stamping. All right, so here is my stamp going on. Now, my card base is going to be so saffron, which is a retiring color, um, as is Mary Merlot, which makes me kind of sad. Um, 
but I think actually for this one, I'm going to use old olive, which is kind of pulling in some of the greens. Did you know that old olive is actually one of our longest or longest running colors? Um, which is kind of cool, actually. I almost thought it was going to retire here with this round, but it is not. So that's fantastic. Okay. So there's my stamp. So I actually just, um, when I embossed this, I only embossed this part of my cardstock. Okay, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to stamp my sentiment. So keep that in mind when you're um, stamping your, or embossing your paper. You do not always have to emboss the full paper. I think sometimes we forget that as stampers. We think we have to emboss the entire thing, and you don't. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you are crafting. So this piece here, you could actually make whatever... Um, thickness that you wanted I'm keeping mine like that and I am bringing in some of the purples for that one okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this onto my card base so you're going to see how simple this card actually is when it comes together um, but it is a really really great way to use up some scraps and it's such a pretty card such 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 a pretty card look at this Okay, see, there's card number one. I feel like my camera's crooked or blurry or something. There we go, that's better. You see that? So of course I could add my bling, which I do have some bling here. So let's go ahead and add some gold sequence. There. Done. Okay, card number one. Card number two, this one I'm using Cottage Rose, which is another retiring paper. Um, sad to see it go, but it's got to go, right? Um, and I've done the same thing. So I've used the embossing uh, folder here. Um, it's probably hard to see, but it's the new one that comes in a pack of three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use um, this piece as my focal point. I'm going to actually put this here oh i can see this is cut on an angle so these are just scraps that were in my love it chop it so um grab your love it chop it pile this is fantastic for that my phone is going nuts absolutely nuts my sisters are trying to find the remote to my mom's tv which has gone missing so that's always fun. All right, so we're going to put this here. So I am recording this, this video on Sunday evening. And I'm going to post it for all of my friends. Oh, let's move that down. Okay, so this is going to be my focal point. So I'm going to put this one here. So one and two. Actually, I want to put this one here. This. Okay, so one and two, and then three. So this one is actually, um, I do have this one a little bit lower than um, the one I just finished, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and because this one is down low, I'm going to actually just use, um, I'm going to actually use, I like this congratulations. Thinking of you with all my heart. What about that? Thinking of you with all my heart. This one right here. too thick okay so what about life is better with a friend like you I love that word come on come on all right 
And I have to put my, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'd like to use my Blushing Bride, to be quite honest, but I'm not going to because um, my Blushing Bride is very, very faint. So I'm going to use Soft Suede. Soft Suede is yet one more of those colors that is retiring. Sad to see it go, but there's a new color coming that I think is going to steal my heart um, and replace Soft Suede quickly. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited. And I am doing an in-color club this year. Um, I'm probably going to actually run two clubs an in color club and then I will run the core color club um, either like um, at the same time or potentially um, combine them I have to give it a little bit more thought so I might just do that one later so much is going on in my head right now there's so many things that I want to offer um, but understanding that you know there's only so much people can do at one point in time. So I have to slow my brain down a little bit to make sure that um, I'm not overwhelming anybody, including myself. Because I have lots of things on the go right now. A lot of custom orders. And... Uh, a lot of really fun things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. So if you did not get everything on your wish list from the retired sale, check out what's left and be sure to grab it quickly. Very cute, eh? Super duper cute. Okay, last card. I'm going through these really quick. It really helps when I'm able to emboss and die cut um, ahead because it makes it very, very quick. All right. So here we go. Last card. I've actually, this one's got a few more pieces to it. So this one I'm using Happiness Abound. Um, I believe this is retiring. I'm not 100% sure. But nonetheless, this is one of the dies that's in the set. And it's not intended to fully be popped out um, or cut out all these pieces. There's only some pieces of this that pop out, um, which is kind of cool. So um, I've popped out most of them. And it's okay that I'm not getting them all. So this is actually going to go here. Um, and then I'm going to use this one. Oops, this one gets over here. This one comes over here. Oh, we have to put our green down. Let's put our green down about there. This one I'm going to put about here. Maybe this way, because it looks like it actually goes this way. And then I'm actually going to put this flower here with these leaves. Like that ish ish right okay so let's get some glue on here oh this is not even cut straight do you see that okay i'll start on this side all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put this down uh, i'm going to put this about here okay I should have had my silicone mat down. Ah! Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to cut that off. It's not very often you will see me hand cut um, pieces. Today is one of those days. Okay. And then I'm going to use this piece. I'm actually going to put this down here because if I get it through the paper. I want this to go this way. And then I'm going to put this one here. Okay. 
you're still with me. I hope you're commenting. Now, there was not a lot of people last week that submitted pictures of their, their completed projects. So, it's going to make picking somebody this week very simple on my end. Um, kind of sad for, for you folks. Because that means you have all missed out on a great prize. So I'm going to put this one about here. So don't forget to post your pictures of your completed projects because I will send you a prize if I select your name. It might take me a little while because <laughs> we all know that I don't do anything overly too quick because I'm so busy, but I will get there. I promise you. So some of the friends from the beginning part of March received... Oh, I didn't want to do this yet. Oh, well. Um, received their treats in the mail this week. So. All right. Now, I didn't want to do this because I wanted to stamp. <laughs> and now that it's down, it might be a little bit harder to stamp. Anyway, okay. So let's do a happy birthday because I realized um, as I was going through my cardstock that I do not have a lot of happy birthday cards done. So I need to actually make up some Mother's Day cards too. So, And I'm going to do this one in um, polished pink because polished pink is, yes, one of those colors that is retiring. Unfortunately, it's one of my favorites, but... It isn't in color, so it's time has come. Those two years went by very, very fast. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but I feel like Polish Pink just made it to the family and now all of a sudden it's leaving. Okay, and there's my happy birthday. So there's my three cards done in like less than 20 minutes. So again, Cards do not need to take hours and hours and hours, although I'm sure people appreciate it when they take this long. I'm just trying to clean off my desk a little bit. So there's my three cards. Super duper simple. I hope you're enjoying these. Um, I'd love some feedback and some input onto um, this whole process if you like it and that kind of thing. So let me know. And get your pictures posted for me, please. So then I can send you out a, a prize if I pick your name. Um, I have lots of items here to gift. So I would love to shower you with those. All right. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these Mystery Mondays. Um, stay tuned for details on my In Color class because it is coming up very soon. I'm going to um, take registration quickly and... Uh, and then we will um, start that as soon as I'm able to order the items out of the book. So in May, we will be starting that in Color Club. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.